Just looking at manufacturing, traceability means simply the ability to find information about where and how a product was made by means of recorded data. Tracking and tracing is the process by which we obtain that product information. Information such as what the vendor who supplied the raw material, where the raw material came from geographically, what processes were used to make a product, so on. Tom, just a, a question for you. Many organizations currently do their tracking on paper. I mean, track and trace doesn't have to be done in an automated fashion, so why would they need track and trace software if they're already doing it? Just, I mean, I, maybe it's a self-explanatory question, but give us a little perspective as to why you dug into the track and trace module development. Yeah, so, you know, tracking information might be on the paper, but usually there's other data, you know, it might be cook temperatures, tensile strength, other quality data, uh, or trending data or other information that's in separate systems or even separate departments. So when you try to go back and get the details traced back in your information and get the details, it's, it's very difficult to do. So with track and trace software, uh, what it does is it brings the various types of data into, you know, so it can be accessed through a uh, single interface and it just makes it uh, a lot more usable and faster to be able to look up information. Good, thanks. Thanks for just at least the context on it, because obviously, in some fashion, people are tracking and tracing now. Um, it's just with a different uh, completeness and accuracy. I think, I think partly what I, I'd comment is that tracking on paper, it, it results in lost money and lost time. If you just think about a simple thing, imagine that a company is forced to have to recall some defective product. They're using paper instead of track and trace technology. The process of narrowing down the root cause of the effective product will be arduous, time consuming, and it's prone to error at many points of that process. They'll find it really just more difficult to identify where the raw material came from, which raw materials went into which products, and where those products were shipped to. They'll be forced to recall, just to make sure they cover everything, a larger amount of product and therefore such a larger financial loss and, and obviously in many cases a, a larger uh, damage to the, uh, to the reputation of that organization. So now just for a second, let's reimagine that recall scenario, but this time with track and trace technology. The company could identify where the effective material came from exactly, which batch it went into, where it shipped, so it could recall only the products that were affected instead of recalling everything. If they can, let's say, on the recall 500 items, instead of 5,000 or 50,000, that saves thousands, tens of millions of dollars, and also can save in the reputation impact. The, the, that is sort of reacting quickly to a problem. They'll also be able to zero in on quality issues, and solve them quickly, and, and be more ahead of the game before they have that kind of a problem. So they'll be able to see where materials came from, and also check out their, you know, check out their current state. If you want to try Ignition, if you want to get deeper into looking at the track and trace, we're going to be scheduling demos to be able to do that for you so you can have your own chance um, with Tom and his team and the sales team here. Um, it, next step, really, is if you're interested, is just download Ignition. Uh, go to inductiveautomation.com, get a full version for free, install, build your own system, look at it as much as you want before you even decide to buy it.